Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, uh, Monkey Cloud. So today I'm going to uh, share with you how I cleared my AWS Certified Solutions Architect uh, Associate exam within just two weeks of preparation. And if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so that you won't miss out on the future videos on cloud computing and certification. First, let me give you some background about myself. So I have 2.5 years of experience working on AWS cloud. So I have hands-on experience building projects with almost all of the services that are covered in this particular exam. So this prior experience played a significant role when it comes to the examination if itself. So uh, if you're a beginner, a beginner, please keep in mind that, uh, you know, you might need more time for, uh, you know, understanding the concepts, practice a lot and by build projects may specifically. So when I say practice, go, do not go ahead and just spin up an EC2 instance or something like that. So how understand how to integrate different AWS services with different other AWS services. So now let me dive in into how I prepared for this particular exam within just you know two weeks. So to prepare for this exam, I used three main uh, resources. One is obviously the AWS documentation. The second one is Udemy course by uh, Stefan. And third one is Adrian Cantrell's course. So if you ask me how I used these three resources, uh, how I utilize these three resources, so the first one is AWS documentation. So AWS documentation is incredible to understand the services and how it actually works. So for example, I was pretty weak in, in a uh, service called ECS in AWS. Uh, I knew how it works and things like that, but uh, when it comes to the detail of that particular service, I was not clearly understanding how to integrate these with other uh, AWS services. So AWS documentation helped me a lot in, uh, in understanding that particular AWS service. Now coming to um, the second one is um, uh, the e Udemy course by Stefan. So I enrolled for it so this course provided a structured way of learning for me so i covered all the necessary topics and uh, it was very clear and concise uh, it was focusing more on to the exam so i dedicated myself like an hour every day to understand what are the um, you know services that are covered in that particular udemy course next when it comes to adrian cantrell's course so he's a person who goes in depth about a particular topic so uh, i i feel that it is a great resource for someone who is trying to build a project on aws stefan's course focuses mainly on the examination content it covers topics that are required for examination but adrian's course covers a lot uh, when it comes to you know uh, exam you can actually uh, build start building projects by using uh, Adrian course itself. So he goes in depth and um, you know specifically uh, sections like EKS, ECS, machine learning uh, things like recognition, transcribe, uh, all those services. He has given us uh, in-depth analysis, uh, understanding of those services. So let me break down my two-week study plan for you. So how I studied for uh, you know this particular exam. So I have a full-time job, so I need to work nine hours a day, and I spent three hours every day, two and a half, three hours every day, focusing on this particular uh, examination itself, with some stuff up to 42 hours or 45 hours of uh, preparation. And here's the day-to-day -day breakdown. So what I did is I, in the first day, first few days, I covered all the services that I already knew. So for example, EC2, I'm, I'm uh, uh, preferably, I have vast knowledge on EC2, VPC, my core background is on networking. So uh, VPC and networking configuration, uh, I covered it uh, as soon as I can. And uh, I completed that within the um, first three days of my preparation plan. So the next uh, two days, like four, uh, day four and day five, I covered um, most of the things like IAM, RDS, DynamoDB, Aurora, all these services I covered in day four and six. I did some hands-on on this as well and day seven and uh, nine uh, i i covered the co concept related to um, focused main on serverless 
like uh, API gateway, Lambda function, uh, cloud formation, uh, and um, Aurora global database, all those things. So I covered that between seven and uh, you know ninth day. When it comes to tenth, tenth uh, day, eleventh day, and twelfth day, this is where uh, it it became very crucial for me because. As I told you, I was not so strong in concepts like ECS. So I spent more time on ECS, Fargate to understand how it works. So EKS, I knew how it works and I also have uh, hands-on experience. But when it comes to ECS, I was not so good at it. So I spent most of my time here as I was close to the examination day. So I thought keeping these topics which i'm not strong uh, at the end of the preparation will make me uh, will give me some more days of time because and i can remember those concepts till the examination date as well so i did that strategy and i used uh, day 10th 11th 12th even half day of 13th was spent on uh, these uh, services next uh, day 13 14 i just reviewed all the uh, you know quizzes that we have in the uh, course of Udemy. I went through all the quizzes again. I took a practice exam uh, from Stefan as well. So that was uh, helpful. So he gave us around six exams, uh, so which was helpful as well. So I covered all of them. I cannot say that I passed in all the uh, practice exams. Uh, there are few attempts where I only scored 52%, 60%, but examination requires at least 72% of you know passing marks. So I did not worry much about the practice exam because I was strong in the concept. So uh, I did that and I reinforced the weak areas again and again. So I made a note of uh, you know questions that I usually fail with and I revised that before going to the exam that played a, a crucial role as well. So now on the day of exam, so I, I, I felt pretty confident because I had prepared a lot and I also reviewed the questions that I was uh, frequently failing. So the exam itself consisted of 65 questions and I scored 948 out of 1000. So most of the questions, uh, strangely it was on ECS itself, ECS, EKS, Fargate and serverless. So I had given enough time for my preparation. So uh, it wasn't easy, it, it wasn't difficult for me to pass the exam easily. And if you ask me what are the uh, tips and tricks to uh, clear this exam easily. So I would say understand the core services uh, uh, without, uh, you know, any, uh, um, you know, uh, without giving any breaks. So make sure that you understand VPC well, what is internet gateway, how do you connect. So deploy uh, VPC on yourself, uh, uh, install um, all the packages and things like that. Uh, configure VPC flow logs, you will be asked questions, you will get a question on flow logs, uh, cloud watch, all those things, uh, understand it better. Next, go for hands-on experience, um, practice a lot, build projects, uh, use multiple resources. As I told you, do not stick to a single course. Stefan focuses more on uh, clearing the exam, but Adrian focuses more on uh, you know, understanding the concept well and start building the project. So I referred both of them. Uh, and manage your time efficiently. So before exam also, on the day of exam also, you should learn how to manage your time. So now if you ask me for those of you who are uh, beginners and who are getting uh, started on cloud, uh, here's my advice. Give yourself enough sufficient time to understand the core concepts uh, thoroughly. Do not rush for it. Process. Uh, it takes a lot of time and effort build projects, build projects that are already available. Like it can be, um, you know, event-driven architecture, uh, use this AWS free tier account uh, efficiently to understand and build projects. So the more you work on AWS, the more confident you will become with the services and the examination content itself. So uh, that's all for today's video. I hope you found my experience and tips helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe uh, for more content like this. Good luck with your AWS certification if you're planning. And if you ask me what is the next certification that I'm planning, uh, I am planning to get um, you know AWS certified DevOps engineer by next three months. So I've started my preparation um, and I'm also planning uh, to prepare with uh, the community. If you're also interested in clearing DevOps engineer certification, let me know in the comments. 
so we can form a group where we can discuss the services and concepts build projects and then learn together so that is that is my take on the next certification and i'm also planning to uh, get certified on kubernetes i'm not sure uh, i've all, i have experience on kubernetes but i'm uh, not well versed for the uh, certification itself so i need enough time to prepare for that as well so yeah that's all for uh, this video i hope you liked it if you are liking the content please consider subscribing and share it with your friends thank you and i will see you in the next one